Hello everybody and what is going on? So Christmas is literally round the corner, well not literally, figuratively round the corner with two weeks left and you might be sitting there stumped for Christmas gift ideas like what do I get my brother? What do I get my sister? What do I get my hype beast uncle? The list goes on. Why not flip the script with this streetwear items Christmas wish list, AKA my top 10 streetwear items for the Christmas wish list 2016. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. At number 10 on my Christmas wish list is the Gucci t-shirt. Now this t-shirt retails at about 260 pounds, so it is Fair to say that it is quite expensive, but it's Gucci, what do you expect? They're selling jeans for a thousand pounds with an embroidered snake on it. So yes, the Gucci tee is the first item on my top 10 wish list. And one of those reasons is because I've always seen Gucci as like a formal high fashion brand, expensive price point, not particularly a brand that you'd associate with streetwear, but this t-shirt just brings it down into that casual category which I love. Now forget the fact it's 260 pounds for a second and let's just focus on a t-shirt. So the Gucci t-shirt is said to be a slim fit, has the big massive Gucci print on the chest, plain white tee, plain and simple. It's just high fashion casual. Now you could wear this tee with a lot of things. You could dress it up and you could dress it down. And that is a rare thing to say when you're talking about Gucci. Now me personally, because it's a slim fit, I would go a couple of sizes up. So let's just say for argument's sake that I would wear a medium t-shirt as a standard fit. To sort of minimize the slim fit of this t-shirt, I would go at least two sizes up, making it an extra large. So now theoretically, we've got an oversized t-shirt, hangs baggy. I would wear that with some vintage fit denim jeans or a fitted pair of trousers. But all in all, the Gucci tee is definitely a status t-shirt. Price point, obviously too much for a t-shirt. And that's all I have to say on the Gucci t-shirt. Now coming in at number nine on my Christmas wish list is the Gosha Kappa sweatshirt. Retailing at about £95, but it's all sold out and I guarantee you're gonna be paying much more than £95 for this sweatshirt. But yes, the Gosha Kappa sweatshirt has been one of my favorite Gosha items to come out this season. Gosha has been collaborating with casual brands like Fila, Kappa, Ombro, and various other casual brands. But for me personally, the Kappa sweatshirt stands out. You've got that classic Kappa logo on the front and the Russian text underneath it. And to be perfectly honest, I'm just rating Kappa as a brand in general. General, like never mind the gosh a bit, Kappa is doing it. I genuinely like the aesthetic of the brand, I like their message, and the sweatshirt itself is definitely something that you could incorporate in your everyday looks. Plus, who doesn't want to look like a casual Russian youth? Bashing trend predictions 2017, you heard it first here. And at number eight, we have the Skim Milk Sasha Grey Blessed Long Sleeve T-shirt. Retailing at about 59 pounds, converting it from the US dollars, and you might be sitting there thinking to yourself, what Skim Milk? Who's Sasha Grey? Now, like, you know who Sasha Grey is, innit? Like, don't lie to me. What's this t-shirt all about? What are you talking about? Now, I threw this into the Christmas wish list for a couple of reasons. One, because I think it's always good to diversify your wardrobe. Streetwear fashion is more than just Supreme, Palace, and Gosha. There are plenty of brands out there that do sick collabs, have sick designs, sick collections. Sick, 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 sicker than sicker. So that's the first reason I picked out this shirt. Secondly, it just looks sick. I mean, you have Sasha Grey as the Virgin Mary. The t-shirt itself is oozing in irony. So the Skim Milk Sasha Grey Blessed Long Sleeve Shirt. There's a lot of other stuff in that collection. Oh, by the way, everything I mentioned in this wish list, I will be linking down in the description down below. Down, 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 down. Unfortunately, most of these items are sold out, but don't blame me, bruv, it's not my business. And at number seven is the Adidas Pharrell Williams Human Race Reflective Windbreaker. Sold out everywhere, but I saw this on eBay for about 400 pounds. A massively high price point for a windbreaker, but of course it is for our Williams. Adidas are smashing it this year, by the way. But yes, let's talk about this windbreaker. Now, if you frequent my videos, you will know that I am a big, massive fan of vintage gear and vintage looking gear. And windbreakers definitely fit into that aesthetic. Love the color scheme of this windbreaker. Not a fan of the price point, but backtracking for a second there. I'm loving the blue color all the way down the top. And then it cuts to white with your Japanese writing on the torso, on the sleeve, with flags all over the world. Sick. And at number six, moving down to something that's a little bit cheaper, or something that you can actually buy in stores, it's the Adidas EQT Support 9316s. Now, if you've been keeping up to date with Adidas, then you will know that they brought out the EQTs earlier this year, and then out of nowhere, they just slam boost on the bottom of them and made them look 10 times better. Now, again, I love my vintage stuff. These Adidas equipments are a re-release. It was a 90s shoes, brought it back in 2016, 
put boost under it, put some sick colorways on it, that bluish greenish, mix it with some white, bang, let's throw it out there. Now you can pick up these shoes for 125 pounds, which technically, if we're talking about sneakers, isn't that bad, especially for something as comfy as Boost built into it. Honestly, if you haven't tried an Adidas shoe with Boost, run to your nearest Foot Locker and try something with Boost on, and then I guarantee you will want to buy a pair of any Adidas shoe with Boost on it. But these EQT supports definitely tick all the boxes, thus making it onto the wish list. And at number five, we have something that wasn't released this year, but it's something that I've wanted since last year. I had the opportunity to cop it, but for some reason, I just thought, nah. And this was the Supreme Merry Christmas t-shirt that they released in 2015. I think when I was sitting there on the Supreme site, I was sitting there thinking to myself, yeah, that's a pretty cool t-shirt, but you can only wear that like one week in the entire year. Highly regret that mindset because I could be sitting here wearing a Supreme Merry Christmas t-shirt by now. You could stunt on everyone at work when it's Christmas jumper day. Technically it's not a jumper, but it will do. And it's just a clean looking shirt, especially for Christmas. You got people sitting there with their Santa Clauses and their snowmen and their reindeers. Nah, 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 fam. I got a vampire looking thing. Merry Christmas. So the Supreme Merry Christmas t-shirt resells at about 60 pounds now. I think at the time you could buy it for about 30 pounds, but that was last year. Unless you can time travel, then that information is pretty much useless. So we're gonna say 60 pounds for that t-shirt. Solid Supreme tea, Merry Christmas gang gang. Now at number four is a shoe that not a lot of people got. I am of course talking about the Bape Adidas NMDs. Now I'm gonna put you out of your misery straight away. The Bape Adidas NMDs resell for about a thousand pounds ish. So unless you've got some serious pocket change, just don't worry about it. But it has to be on a Christmas wish list because it is a wish list. When these were first announced, I was thinking to myself, yes, these shoes are sick but I guarantee that no one I know will be able to get a pair. I must be some sort of psychic because that's exactly what happened. These shoes were extremely hard to get. They automatically reached the status of Grail, NMD silhouette, Bape camo, the perfect shoe to stunt on. Unless you wanna throw in a camouflage joke there, like, oh, what shoe? So, the Bape Adidas NMDs. It's the L you took before you knew you took an L. And at number three is the most attainable item on this list. It is the Chinatown Market Scheme t-shirt retailing at 32 pounds this t-shirt features a clean chinatown market spell out on the front and on the back of the shirt it has a massive back print of the pink panther or something that looks like the pink panther and again a chinatown market spell out now i like this shirt for a number of reasons Firstly, it's because it's a low-key brand. Not a lot of people have heard of Chinatown Market. This might even be the first time you've heard of it. Again, like I said about the skim milk tea, it's not always about Supreme Palace and Gosha and hype streetwear brands. Streetwear brands are a lot more diverse than you think. If you do a little bit of digging, you will find plenty of brands out there that you might really like and at a much more affordable price point, such as this one. Of course, a plain white t-shirt for maximum transferability. Pink Panther on the back, a suitable reference for all ages. Chinatown Market gang gang. And at number two on this wish list, we have the 424 Raise Hell hoodie. Retailing at 210 pounds, a high-ish price point for a hoodie, but I absolutely love the clean look of this hoodie. You just got the plain text Raise Hell on the front, black hoodie, looking a little bit gothic, but at the same time, that theme is low key and subtle. So you could definitely incorporate this in your everyday outfits. Wear this hoodie during your job interview. You automatically got the job. So what does your hoodie mean when you say you raise hell? Nah, 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 raise hella profits. Instantly got the job, promoted to manager. No, promoted to CEO. That's what this hoodie can do for you. This is not a paid promotion. And before we get to number one on the wish list, I just want to throw in some honorable mentions. We have the Yeezy 350 V2s, the Yeezy 950s in any colorway, Supreme Box logo hoodies, Supreme 3M headband, the Supreme Say No T, the Stussy Pink Reflective Pullover Jacket, Hold Tight Urban Outfitters, the Fresh of Flames logo t-shirt, any colorway, the Alpha Industries MA Flight Jacket, Standard, the Weekend Lightning Graphic Hoodie, any of the Nike Up Tempo, Palace Crickstock Shell Pant in black, and the Palace Waximum Bomber in navy. I wish those were paid promotions. And finally, at number one of my Christmas wish list 2016 is the Cloth Surgeon Tartan Patchwork MA1 Jacket. Retailing at 375 pounds. I mean, just look at it. Bruv, 
Now, if you don't know about Cloth Surgeon, they're this contemporary fashion brand. Everything on their website looks super cool, super sick. Stuff that I would definitely wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but this jacket just stood out for me. Tartan is definitely my favorite pattern, and they've just mashed together all of the best bits into one MA1 jacket. I am ultimately gutted about the price point as I don't have £375 to splash on a jacket, but this jacket is my idea of the perfect jacket. Now, Cloth Surgeon states on their website that not one jacket is the same, they're all different. So obviously you've got like different patchworks going on, which is actually a really nice touch. So even if you know someone who's bought the same one, they're not gonna look the same. Well, they are. They're gonna be the same, but different, if that makes sense. Now, forget the amount of L's I've taken this year with the Yeezy V2s, the Supreme Box logo, the Bape NMDs, the True Blue Jordans, the Bread Ones. The list goes on. It's like I've fallen asleep on the L button on my laptop. All of that could be ultimately forgiven if I just had that jacket. I instantly fell in love with it. I can imagine a million and one outfits. Could definitely dress it up, could definitely dress it down. It is 100% a unique jacket and it's upsetting me just talking about it. So that was my Christmas wish list for 2016. Please let me know your favorite item on this list in the comment section down below. Also, let me throw a question back at you. Tell me your top 10 in the comments section down below. And that is where I'm going to end the video today. So if you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see more of what I do, because I do a lot of fashion based stuff, lifestyle based stuff and style based stuff, then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this webpage here. And now that is everything. Bye.